County jails are filling up, and the majority of those behind bars are mentally ill. National studies and local sheriff's departments say more than half of jail populations have a mental health problem. It's obviously costing jails, but the question is, how do we prevent it? Now your site's Keaton Thomas has the story. At Pinal County's jail, inside the barbed wire and behind the bars, inmates sit. Sitting for various reasons, crimes large and small, but many have one thing in common, according to Sheriff Paul Babu. Over half of our population have, has underlying mental health issues. That means more than 50% of the population in the Pinal County Jail. A 2006 national study put the number at 64% for all jails, similar to numbers in prisons. Babu says his jail is ill-equipped to provide quality mental health services to that many people. Yes, we do screening. Yes, we do some outpatient uh, services and supports here in our facility, uh, but we are not equipped to do that. That's primarily not our job. And handling such a large population of mentally ill takes more resources. Tom Schreier is the Pinal County Health Director. He says treating that many takes time. Psychiatrist alone. Last month did 212 visits. And money. 70% of the jail's medication costs go towards mental health. That's hundreds of thousands of dollars a year just on medications alone. Sheriff Paul Babu sees a cycle with this jail population. Some of those with underlying mental illness are literally they're on a hamster wheel. He says many inmates leave jail, go back to their communities, and never get the help they need, eventually returning to crime, completing the cycle. That's what has to be broken if we really want to get to the bottom of this. For the public, Schreier says the mental health system is fragmented, resources limited. And as a result, there's things that are going to slide through the cracks. A poignant example in Arizona. Jared Lofner. He showed signs of mental illness long before killing six people and injuring 13 others. I'm going to be homeless because of this Remember school. the YouTube video he posted walking around Jesus. Pima Community College? This is Jared from Pima College. But progress is being made here in southern Arizona. Now the Tucson Police Department have a mental health support team. They were recently used in a high-profile bomb threat at TPD's West Side Substation. What we are at our core is a jail diversion unit. Sergeant Jason Winsky works with the unit. He says out of 400 calls in 2015, they only took two to jail. The most expensive thing we do as a police department is incarcerate people. We know that over time, treatment works. It's over 90% effective over time. We know that if we keep redirecting people back into treatment, the outcomes are better. A better outcome, a cheaper outcome than putting them behind bars. Keaton Thomas, KGUN 9 on your side.